this is still why in the morning thank you for staying with us and uh, if you're just joining us you are on time for the first conversation of the day and we're all about career uh, but today we want to see how we can uh, get to what we want that is achieving our goals last week we talked about something similar but different uh, at least according to our guest and he'll be explaining that to us uh, last week we talked uh, talked about uh, planning and pursuing visions and today we want to talk about achieving goals and of course our guest today is not new to us uh, he is called Joffrey Ongwai yes. he's a motivational speaker author and a pastor Karim Busana Joffrey thank you my sister glad to have you once again I'm happy to be again awesome yes so we want to know the difference between um, achieving visions and uh, uh, sorry uh, pursuing visions and achieving goals what is the difference between the two? I, um, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. Achieving your vision, it is something that you have decided to pursue. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like now, maybe you, you have a vision to become a doctor, you have a vision to become a nurse, you mm -hmm. have a vision to become a journalist. But now, when we are talking about goals, it's a how. That's the difference. Okay. Yes. So vision, you have it, but the goal is the how to get there. Yes. All right. Mm. So what are some of the ways that one needs to put in place or some of the things one needs to implement to make sure that they achieve their goals? You know, uh, this is a good topic because it's the beginning of the year mm -hmm. and the people are setting goals. Exactly, but some people, interesting enough, <laughs> some people have decided not to set goals because uh, they don't want to be disappointed. Uh -huh. And this was a conversation we were having last week uh -huh. and uh, also a discussion that we were having with my co-host uh, a few minutes ago. He said he has not set goals this time because in 20, 2020, uh -huh. he was disappointed, mm -hmm. uh, you know, after setting goals and uh, Corona came and things uh, were sort of disoriented. Mm -hmm. So what is the importance of doing this? You know... Any person who wants to succeed, mm -hmm. you, you ever, maybe the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. you must set goals. Eh? It's a must if you maybe you want to, to be successful. Because success and the goals, eh? they go together. You can't separate. Okay. They go together. But someone say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spontaneous person. Can you take it? you know, could you limit and, uh, you know, those people that just avoid disappointment and they're still after success. So does it mean they won't be successful because they have not uh, set goals? You know, me, I'm, as a writer, mm -hmm. I've done a lot of research. Uh, many people have succeeded in this world. They had goals. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, maybe as a family, you must set goals, personal goals. Maybe it's a Kanban. You must set goals. Mm -hmm. it, it will guide you. Uh, because it's now like I can ask you, what do you want to achieve this year? Uh, there's so much that I want to achieve. <laughs> Career-wise, uh, relationship-wise, I want know, to do uh -huh. oh, Some people... Mm. There's yeah. no need. Yeah, most, yeah, some people have but, that. But when you look even in the Bible, mm -hmm. you, you, you can see uh, Jesus will ask people, what do you want me to do for you? Mm -hmm. So you need to know what... Yes. <laughs> like now, 2023, what goals, what do you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. Because at the beginning of the year, people are excited. They say, maybe I will do this, I will do this. Mm -hmm. And uh, never should you maybe uh, think that those people are saying that they don't set goals. They are saying the truth. They are lying. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they are lying. They are lying to us. <laughs> they have goals. <laughs> they have goals. <laughs> there is something in their hearts they want to do. Okay. Maybe they have not written down, it's okay. But inwardly, they say, oh, this year, I, I will wonder. build. This year, I will do this. This year, I will do this. So uh, uh, there's no way somebody can say, oh, me, I don't want to set goals. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've said they're lying to us. Okay. <laughs> and, and what is the difference between someone who puts their goals down and someone who doesn't? Mm, now, you know, uh, human beings, we are 
subjected to forgetfulness. Mm -hmm. So when you write it down your goals, you will be able to remember, just to remind yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why maybe as a person, as a company, when you begin the year, that's why the company, they take their people out. If it's a family, they go out and they discuss, they discuss goals that they want to achieve within one year. Mm -hmm. So some they write it down and some they write it in their hearts. Okay. Do you see now? But now, those who write down, they can be able, as we continue to talk, mm -hmm. we are going to look at why, what are the indolences. To yeah, achieving we'll get, our goals. Yeah, we'll surely get that, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, because we have uh, long-term goals, we have short-term short goals. Short-term goals. Mm -hmm. And what, okay, you've mentioned that you, you need to set personal goals and then family goals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why, why do you need to have family goals and company goals? We know because uh, it, it's, uh, you know, uh, dependent on the company's growth. Mm -hmm. But, you know, family goals, relationship goals, do you need that? Yes, you know, uh, there's no way you can know where you're going. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can know maybe what you want to achieve until you write it down, mm -hmm. your goals. That means you should set your goals. You say, this year, God willing, I will do this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very important as a that. person, as a young person, as a company, as a family, you go out and discuss Maybe, God willing, this year, this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, and I want to assure you, those people who do not set their goals, mm -hmm. they get defeated. So you set up yourself for failure? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I've said you can't separate goals and success. They go hand in hand. Yeah, they go hand in the hand. So that's why I've said go and do your research. Okay. To see all the successful people. Yes. And see w what they did. Yes. Okay. Maybe some uh -huh. years ago, two years ago, three years ago. That's why I've said we have short-term goals and we have long-term goals. Mm -hmm. Like now, short-term goals is like maybe one week from now, like my brother was here, was saying he has read just two pages of a book. Mm -hmm. That's it is short-term yeah. goals. Maybe within a week, I want to read a book. Maybe within a, a week, I want to uh, maybe to start mm -hmm. a business to do this. Maybe within two months, within three months. But now when we come to long-term goals, mm -hmm. it is now maybe five years to come, I want to have my master's. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 years to come, I want to have maybe a stall house. Maybe five years to come, my company will be all over Africa. That's what, now what, what we are talking about, long-term goals. Mm -hmm. So when we come to our personal goals, there are short-term goals and, and we have long-term long goals. All right. Yes. And um, about uh, the long-term goals, how big can you dream? Because the long term, five years from now, you might not have a job, you might, you know, coming from a humble background, mm -hmm. but you have big dreams. So how big can you dream for at least the long term goals? Because for the short term, you can't imagine you're going to get a car in three months, yet you don't know even, you know, where to start. Mm -hmm. But for the long term goals, how, how big should you dream? You know, because you're also supposed to be realistic at the same time. Dream big, mm -hmm. but you can start small. Okay. Yes. So dream big. You, you mm -hmm. must have a starting point in everything you do. It's like me, I'm an author, I have all that, the 12 books, titles. Mm -hmm. There was a time maybe I began around 15 mm -hmm. years ago. So when they say the hardest thing is to begin. Now, once you have begun, then you will reach there. Amazing. Yes. You should say start with shaking, trembling, as long as you start. Yes. Just make sure you start. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. maybe people are successful today. Some of them, they start small. So sort of supermarkets, uh, mm -hmm. big schools, maybe schools that are maybe very famous, companies. Maybe they start small. Very few people start maybe in a big way. But 90%, 80%, they become small. 
Okay. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's why when you set goals, you break it into small goals. Do you see? Then you start somewhere, then you continue. All right. Do you see? Now, we have begun the year. Uh, we, this is the first month, January, you know. You can, you can begin something. You can begin somewhere. Can you yeah. maybe give us an example? You've said you can set a goal and then you break it down. Maybe you can help the viewer know by an example how to break down a goal, one goal. Uh, like now, mm -hmm. let me use career. Yeah. Maybe you, you want to be maybe to have masters or your doctorate. You can decide if you do not do well in your case, yes, you can start with certificate, then you come to diploma, mm -hmm. then you come to degree, then you come to uh, a, doc a doctorate. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? At least you can have, maybe mm -hmm. you have graduated and you have no job. You can maybe go somewhere to a company and they say, please give me a chance, let me just work free for you. You start from there, then you continue. Okay. Maybe if you want to have a supermarket, you can start maybe with a small shop. But in mind, you have a big picture. Mm -hmm. That 10 years to come, I will be somewhere. Do you see now? Yeah. So at least you must have a starting point. All right. So you have a big goal, but you break it down uh, till when you can get mm. to it. Now, the problem with many people, as we talk about the inner lenses, mm -hmm. is that many people, they want to begin big. Right. When it comes to goals, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe uh, I normally I, I love to use my own examples eh? in mm -hmm. maybe in several areas. Yeah, like me, I started the diploma, then I come I came to uh, my a degree, degree. Mm -hmm. then a master's, mm -hmm. and now I'm, I'm doing my my doctorate. Oh, mm -hmm. So at least somebody must start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then you continue. So it takes time. It takes time. And patience, okay. It, yeah. And now when we come to setting goals, in, in life, there are those goals that are very important, but not very urgent. Okay. <laughs> so how do you uh, set this? Yes. Now it, you, you, it is to evaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are those goals maybe that are very important, but not very Agent for very now. Urgent. And the, those goals that are very abundant and very urgent. urgent. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, it's upon you now to, to do evaluation in your life. And set To see uh, which is very abundant. Which, can, which one can I start with? Mm -hmm. Do you see now? Yeah. And so, what are some of the questions that someone can ask themselves before they come up, as they come up with their goals? Important questions that maybe ca that can serve as a guide? Now, the question that you might ask us, because we are not the same. Mm -hmm. We are wire wired in a different way. Yeah. Maybe you, you have uh, maybe chosen maybe to pursue what we call uh, uh, business. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, let us say, um, let us say business or academics on that area. Now mm -hmm. you evaluate yourself and you say, which one can I start with? Mm -hmm. uh, because many people, maybe you see somebody's doing this, you say, I, I will do it. So it's upon you mm -hmm. to evaluate yourself. What are you passionate about? What do you love? Do you see? Mm -hmm. Maybe if it is uh, somebody, maybe in high school, maybe in college, yeah. maybe in a family, goals cannot be the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are the CEO of the company, uh, your goals and the goals of the family, it cannot be the same. So it is upon you to evaluate yourself. Maybe like now, let me say, you are married, you are embroiled, embroiled. Mm -hmm. You can decide maybe let me now, let me have my own land and build, build. because it's very important for you. Okay. Do you see? Mm -hmm. uh, now, maybe mm -hmm. because uh, you, now you have, you have a family, do you see? So it's upon you now to evaluate yourself. Because uh, we, as we are talking and those people are listening to us, our goals will never be the same. Mm -hmm. 
okay. but it is you to evaluate which one is very important, mm -hmm. so in very urgent. So you're saying that the reason behind the goal should uh, also matters when you're setting the goal, the reason why you want to achieve that goal? Yes. Why do you want to achieve that goal? Mm -hmm. uh, like now, maybe, let me say that maybe you, uh, you are through with your college, and maybe you want to, uh, to be employed. You are not employed because we have this cast of employment in Kenya. You can decide to, you can decide to, to start something. So you, you pursue that. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, you maybe, you never know the fight will take you. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about now achieving the goals. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another author, James Clear, who wrote, uh, if, if I'm getting it right, mm -hmm. it's easy to set goals, but it's the system behind the goals that actually matter, having systems mm -hmm. behind the goal. What do you say about that? Yeah, you know, uh, from my experience, uh, from the people I've talked to, mm -hmm. Uh, even those people are very today, some of them, they had goals. They had big goals. They were excited. They, yeah. uh, maybe the beginning of the year, they mm -hmm. said, we want this. But now, achieving the goal, that's where the problem is, because they are some indolences mm -hmm. on the way. One of the indolences, there are many that we can discuss, low motivation. There are some people who maybe they don't have self-motivation. Mm -hmm. Their motivation is very low. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's in business, maybe it's in a career, maybe there's something that you want. Now, the motivation is very low because the far you go, it will depend the motivation behind. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, if your motivation is very low, your success will be very low, the same. Mm -hmm. When your motivation is so high, you want to do something, you want to pursue it with uh, all of your art, finally you will get it. Do you see now? Yeah. So one of the indolences to our achieving maybe our goals is the low motivation. Mm -hmm. low As motivation. I, come to me, I will do this. But are you motivated? You don't have the drive. Uh, push like now I can, I can tell you. With the economy of our country, people have low motivation. Mm -hmm. very, that, that's very true. And the <laughs> circumstances such as those. So what can a person do now to stay motivated and not you uh, know, drop your goal? Yes. That's why maybe we have said that uh, people should learn to motivate themselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, you, you wake up in the morning and you say, I would decide to do this within two months, within three months, within six months, and I must do it. Mm -hmm. So the motivation that comes from, you know, inside your heart is so powerful that the motivation comes from outside. So it can only come from inside Inside, of you. yeah. Right. Because somebody can push you today, and tomorrow you'll come back to the same spirit. Mm. But once you have decided from your heart that I want to pursue this, I want to do this. Do you see? Mm -hmm. That's why I've said the motivation that comes from inside your heart is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And that one uh, comes when you wake up every morning and you say, I have something to achieve. Mm -hmm. I have something to achieve this year. Do you see now? Yeah. You know, that's why they say mm -hmm. when you are setting goals, set smart goals. Do you see? Yeah, specific, yeah. measurable. Yes. Yes. Mm. I take. Uh, um, why am I forgetting? I, 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 it was taught last. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Is it attainable, realistic, and uh, uh, time bound? A time bound. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? Yes. So people should learn to motivate themselves. You know, nowadays everybody is almost discouraged. You, whatever you go, people are discouraged. Mm -hmm. So people should learn on how to motivate themselves. Maybe whatever you have decided to do, your career, family life, maybe in your business is not doing well, you know, mm. learn to motivate yourself. So I will do it no matter what. No matter what. I will, I, I will try my best. Even if the economy is hard. Even, even if the if economy is hard. I, I want to mm. tell you, my sister, when other people are complaining, you know, one of the signs that somebody is, uh, is not motivated as such, mm -hmm. watch 
is what Sora wants. So the confession is negative? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? So uh, when people complain, I can tell you there are people who are not complaining and they are, they are working. Even during Corona, mm -hmm. can, can I surprise you that there are people who are building? Yeah, there are people, people their business stuff. were doing well. Mm -hmm. When other people were saying, oh, Corona, and the Corona, it has affected us. Other people, it's an opportunity. Yes, people made lemonades out <laughs> of the lemon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, in life, if people concentrate so much on complaining, mm -hmm. you, cannot, you cannot move. You will be stuck. Yeah. But if you, maybe you can open your eyes and you are able to see the opportunity that is around our country, Mm -hmm. you, you will succeed. Do you see now? Yeah. That is why you can see that other people are complaining that the, the economy is bad, but other people are quiet, they are working. They are looking for opportunities mm -hmm. because they are able to motivate themselves. All right. Uh, no matter what, mm -hmm. th still, there is something good in our country. Mm -hmm. No matter what, there is something good in my life. So that, no that, matter the situation mm -hmm. uh, that I'm in. Mm -hmm. Yes. That brings me to the question, how do you align your environment to your goals? Because now sometimes it's almost, uh, you know, you can't prevent it because the people around you or the environment that you're raised in sort of uh, holds you back and you have great goals. So how do you make sure that you align your environment uh, to your goals? You know, you must be careful with the people that you, you mingle with, you talk with. You mm -hmm. must be very careful. If you join the group where people always are complaining, the economy is bad, have, uh, you know, I'm broke, have no money, the business is not doing well. The next day, you will be st uh, start singing the same song. Mm -hmm. Do you see? But if you align yourself with the environment where people are positive, where, be where people are focused, where people are visionary, where people are discussing ideas on how they can move, Mm -hmm. But if you join uh, the, maybe the group of people mm -hmm. who are saying, ah, we can't succeed, okay. you know, the economy is bad, we are going nowhere, it's a disease. Negativity is a disease. So by the end of the day, you will be affected. So it's contagious. You will start singing the same <laughs> song. Do you see? Okay, so negativity is contagious. Is that contagious yes. disease? Yeah, it's a disease. <laughs> okay. So you must be very careful. And I wonder what I want to know. Maybe people are complaining. Ah, family life is so bad. I will you answer. Eh, uh -huh. <laughs> the business is not doing well. Maybe somebody is selling, maybe in a shop. And the patient and the age, ah, economy is bad. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's what people are saying. Are saying. But uh, that's why we have said, learn to motivate yourself. It's mm -hmm. so powerful. Okay. Even w when you don't see hope, still mm -hmm. you can tell yourself, mm -hmm. I can do something. Okay. You know, I was teaching people the other day, a group of people invited me to talk to. I was saying this, make even a small step. If you cannot not make a big step, make even a small step this year, this month, mm -hmm. February. Make a small step. March, make a small step. It will make a big difference by the end of the year, by mm. the end of the year. No. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, what are some other hindrances? So, you, well, you've talked about motivation and mm -hmm. having the right company around you. Mm -hmm. Are there uh, any other hindrances to achieving your goals? Lack of patience. Lack of patience. You know, once you have set your goal, you need patience. Do you see? Anything it does, it has, uh, it has a process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I can tell you, Many people have not achieved maybe whatever they wanted in life is lack of patience. When you, know, you try your business within one, one year, you close the business. Maybe within one month, you close the business. You know, say, it's your zone. So there are people who have closed their business within one year. Mm -hmm. They have tried maybe about four. Do you see? Waste of time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you need to be very patient with life. Okay. At least have some patience with life. Mm -hmm. Even you maybe you started somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Maybe there was a time you were an intern, maybe mm -hmm. you you know. So once people lack patience, I can tell you, maybe, anyway, I started uh, being a pastor uh, around 20 years ago. Wow. Did you Two see? Decades. I mm. started when I was just a young man from high school. I went straight to college. Wow. I started writing my books. It's now 16 years. Mm -hmm. Did you see? But it has, uh, that time when I was producing my books, I will say just 5,000, maybe 1,000. But nowadays, my books are all over because it has taken time. Do you know? So that means sometimes you need, you need patience in your life, whatever that you are doing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, we can talk to those people who have set their goals. Mm -hmm. We want to advise them this morning that they need to have patience, develop some patience in this life. Okay. Yeah. What about, uh, I'm also getting the aspect of focusing on something because, mm. you know, you've mentioned the example of someone starting many businesses. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is it about focus? Because you can have so many goals going on at the same time that you want to achieve at, you know, on a limited time. Mm -hmm. So what is it about having focus? You know, lack of focus, it will disorganize you completely. Mm -hmm. Do you see? There are people who are not focused at all. Because focus means pay attention on something until you get it. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? There are people not focusing. What are you focusing on? Mm -hmm. Do you see? That means what are you aiming at? Do you, uh, do you see? Me, I'm a businessman. I do business. I can tell you. Mm -hmm. It has taken around 20 years. Eh? Mm -hmm. But that time when I started my business of uh, selling, maybe let me have uh, uh, spare parts. Mm -hmm. It was just a small shop, and uh, you know, and we will get two, three customers per day. Do you see? Mm -hmm. But as time goes by, because of that focus, you continue doing it. You continue doing it. You continue doing it until the breakthrough ca comes. Oh, yeah. Do you see now? Mm -hmm. But now many people. They start something and they want to see instant result. Mm -hmm. Do you see? And such kind of goals, there are very few. Where people focus on something within one month, they see a big, uh, maybe result, big impact. But many people want to succeed. Young people listening to us, business, the CEO are listening to us. You, you can go and do your search. Even the companies that are famous today all over the world, the owner, the CEO, those people started, they found us, they develop patients. Mm -hmm. It's like a pregnant woman. Well, I, I was a uh, You have to wait. So, I'm a Kwanza, i a Billy, i a Tatu. Very patient. In Africa, i a Kwangumu, but I'm a Semalasiman for me. It is nine months. Yeah. It is. Unomkuta mama anabeba hapo analia anasema ah nimetezeka but anajua this thing i must call it for nine ma nine, nine months, months. Yeah. you see mm -hmm. that's why we said earlier that that short term goals and long term go goals mm -hmm. do you see now yeah. like now if you want to be a millionaire 10 years to come do you see you must set long term goals do yeah. you see mm -hmm. you want to have 20 million from now 30 million from now 10 million from now you set what you call wrong term goals. goals. But if you, if you want just 10,000, uh, you can set what you call short term goals. Because if you want, like now, if you want uh, a thousand, that one within a day, you can get it. You can get it. Maybe it, it is 20,000, you can, you can get it within one month. But when it comes to what we call uh, uh, big money, Mm -hmm. uh, millions of money. Mm -hmm. You maybe you want to achieve big. It comes with patience. So patience is key. It is the key. And when is it? When do you know that uh, it is now time to try something else? Because you've said patience, I mean, maybe someone is taking too much time on something that's probably not working, especially maybe in business. And that was your goal, and you you have focused on it, and you have tried, but maybe there's a reason why it's not working, and you need to to do something else. So when do you know that this is... When things are not working uh, well, mm -hmm. maybe you have not built your capacity. Okay. Yes. 
because your success will be equal to your capacity. Mm -hmm. Maybe like now it's the company, maybe it's a business. The capacity, mm -hmm. then the capacity we are talking, is now what kind of books do you read? What kind of friends? Mm -hmm. What kind of advice do you read? Yeah. Be so because there are some people who have uh, not succeeded in business because they are depending on their own knowledge. Do you see now? Yeah. So you are not supposed to quit before you ask yourself, why my business or why as mm -hmm. a person I'm not successful? Yeah, okay. You know, I've counseled some people, several in uh, maybe in our country, teachers, principals mm -hmm. who invite me, people to come. You know, uh, Chofri, I, I had 60,000 and I'm going nowhere. Do you see now? Mm -hmm. I'm adding a hundred, I'm not seeing going anywhere, do you see? Then we sit, we talk, do you see? Mm -hmm. There are people who have not the capacity to handle even 10,000. Yeah. Within one week or within two days, best I mention. And mtu anasa kusema shetani, mungu nisaidi. You blame the devil. Oma somebody has been given a big company yeah. within one year. Yeah, the company is down. Yeah. The capacity to handle. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. Somebody has been given a school, a big school, maybe with 2,000, 1,000. Within a few days, 400 students. Sometimes, mm -hmm. let me tell you, and uh, those who are listening to us, yeah. building your capacity is very, very important mm -hmm. when it comes to a personal success. Okay. Yes. So you need to build capacity. Yes. What, like mm -hmm. now, if you maybe you are building the capacity to able to handle your family, read books about your family. Mm. If you want to know how to handle your business, read book Go about business. business. Mm -hmm. If you are a manager, read a book about managerial skills. Mm. Do you see now? So that you can be able to handle maybe whatever you have been given, all those goals mm -hmm. that you want to achieve. Okay. I, I can tell you that uh, before you talk about success, you must talk about building your capacity as a person. Okay. Yeah. So it's essential. Very essential. For success to happen. Okay. Yes. What about uh, setting now the time? Because uh, setting smart goals means that they have to be time bound. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you allocate the time that now, you need to achieve the goal? Now, maybe when you want now, you want something that you want to achieve. It's upon you now. How urgent do you want those goals to be achieved? Mm -hmm. It is five years. It is 10 years. It is 20 years. Now then you rotate mm -hmm. your time. Unasema within. That's why we have said you must be able to break down your big goal to small goals. Unasema within this year, I will be doing this. Next year, I will be doing this. So it is upon you mm -hmm. now to allocate your time. Uh, depending on the agent that you need that thing. Like yeah. now, like now, mm -hmm. maybe within one year, mm -hmm. you, you want to have a, maybe money to start a business. Yeah. So what do you want? What do you do? You start, start saving. saving. You start sa saving. saving. Mm -hmm. well, 10 years from now, I will start my own company. So what I will be doing, the, my company that I want to start, or the business, it will take around one million, or 10 million, mm -hmm. or five million. So what you do, you start saving. So it, it will depend on the agent that you need that thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because there are some people who set goals. Mm -hmm. They just write goals. Just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of That's why you must have what call action plan. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Anytime that you have set, you have set your goal, you must have an action plan. How are you going to do it? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's personal, it, uh, personal goals, earthy, yeah. uh, social goals. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Maybe you, you are 120, uh, maybe kg. You want to reduce. What you do? The action brand. <laughs> do you see? Yeah. Every morning. Uh -huh. Do you see? Yeah. So, 
that's why I've said, well, I'm going to make new friends this year. What kind of friends that I want to make this year? Mm -hmm. Maybe those mm -hmm. who are in business yeah. or those who are in the uh, uh, industry of uh, maybe something. Are you get what I'm saying? So you need to also be intentional in it, that. You must be intentional. Action, the action plan is very, very important. I've seen, you know, it's me, I've invited for big schools in this country. I've invited to Equity Bank to talk to people. Mm. I've been uh, various companies, maybe when they go out, to talk to them. Uh, this, this is very simple. Some people, they go out and they are excited. Oh, we have begun the year, we have set yeah. goals. But do you have the action plan? Like now, you can ask somebody, do you have an action plan for this year? For your goals? Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe you want something. If you you set goals, to what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. But where's the action plan? Okay, so that, those are the systems that you need to have the, yes. the action plan. You must. So, example, if you want to get healthy, you say you'll be running every morning. You'll be running every so morning. Una muka, una kimbia. Mm. You, you go to the gym, you want to reduce your weight. Are you, uh, do you see now? So, I'm going to reduce 20 kg. Yeah. But no action plan. Uh -huh. plan. Maybe this year, I'm going to start my own business. Give us action plan. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Because once you have the action brand, it will boost you. Mm -hmm. It will make you to wake It'll, up. Okay. Um, tu. Mm -hmm. Una hivi. Na wakati, you know, once you have come up with action brand, sasa itakuambia, if you want to achieve this, this is how you start. This is what you will be doing. This is what is required. Do you see now? You know, so mm -hmm. from now up to March, I will do this. Up to maybe, uh, let's tune or what, uh -huh. uh, I will have this. So the action plan, in fact, many people fail to achieve their brands. Uh, it is because they don't have the action plan. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That what? is why we say anybody can succeed. As long as you have set your goals right, and you have decided, you are intentional, mm -hmm. and you have the action plan. Mm -hmm. Have you ever but, wondered? Mm -hmm. There are people who never went to school, but they're very successful. Yeah. Have you ever wondered? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are people, you know, you look at and you say, oh, that's, that's people that were very smart on their goals. The action plan. They say, this year. And they, they are able to measure their goals very fast. Do you see? How do you measure their goal? You, you measure from the starting point. Mm -hmm. And where you are, then you will be able to know where you are going. Okay. In fact, people must know, uh, you know, you must know where you are coming from, mm -hmm. where you are, and where you are go, going, where you are going. Do you see? So that you can say, at least, since January started, mm -hmm. date one, at least I moved a step. Do you see? So you are measured. At least, I've done something. Okay. Do you see? Mm -hmm. But if you just you sit, mm -hmm. you say, I'm waiting for a miracle. In fact, let me tell you. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people flocking to churches. Uh -huh. I'm not against. Oh, I want to know. 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 I receive. Receive. I want to know. Amen. Amen. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, once they leave that church mm -hmm. and they go back home, the question is, do you have a plan? Yeah. Are you going to receive that car? How, how are you going to receive that house? <laughs> okay. So after you receive, you go and work for that. Senior, you, for that you go and make a plan on how to, how to get it. Mm -hmm. You know, that is why, you know, sometimes just these people are giving false hope. Mm. I mean, I call it false hope. Mm -hmm. But our mama may jauko, I say may jauko, you know, wanna be wa eh, 
miracles, 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 miracles. And it is okay. <laughs> but when you look at those mamas, you say, ndi mungu wanafanya miujize lakini, ah mama wamekoza the capacity. Wamekoza kufundishwa. This mama can be very successful. This mama can, can have their own money. This mama can have their own house. Mm -hmm. This mama can have their own business. What they like is, is, is the power. Do you mm -hmm. see now? Yeah. Yes. So after, you can't spend the whole day receiving you need to go out set your goals and uh, you know you go back work for them you work for them you know mm -hmm. but uh let me just work for it mm -hmm. mm. and anything you know anything that you want you must work for it mm -hmm. mm. Amazing. But, by the way i was saying this mm -hmm. lack of commitment will deny you success so commitment is also key yes laziness it will render you to <laughs> very poor. Yeah, the Bible says that. <laughs> very also, poor. Yeah. I want to go and do your research, even where you come from and mm -hmm. the people. Ah, oh, what when you find your cousin, what you are saying, but you know, when a person come back, they are doing nothing. Eh? You know, there was a time you asked me about the mm -hmm. quote that I wrote on Facebook. You do nothing, you become nothing. 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 You become useless if mm -hmm. you're doing. But if you do something, you become sa something. somebody. Do you see now? That's why we are insisting that your commitment will be equal to your success. Okay. The more you are committed, the more, more successful, successful you become. You, you become. become. So you in, yeah, you're also saying whatever you plant, you harvest. Yes, whatever you plant, you harvest. Okay. That means people must be very committed. In whatever that you are doing, you are a CEO, be committed. You are a teacher, be committed. You are a principal, be committed. You are a student, be committed to what you have decided to do. The goal that you have set, mm -hmm. be committed. But if we set goals and we say, Baba, to me kwajia, to me kwajia yote. God, everything we leave it to you. Na mungu anasema, plan. Fanya mipango. God wants people to plan so that you can bless our plans. In fact, I don't know, made the book of Proverbs 16. Yeah, say commit your plans uh, to the Lord. Commit your plans to the Lord. Mungu anakuliza, my son, what do you have? I want to bless your plan. Mungu, when it, so wu nasema wukuna mipango yetu. So don't go to God empty. Go with a plan. Go, go with, with a plan to God. Uh -huh. Mungu, God, this is what I have. Please mm -hmm. bless it. Okay. And I can tell you, my sister, you mm -hmm. know me, I, anyway, I'm not old, but the, I can tell you God has blessed me. Mm -hmm. You plan something small, you continue working on it, after a few days, mm -hmm. you are successive. Uh, my producer has said the loud amen for <laughs> <see> that. <laughs> amen. Uh -huh, amazing. So, so, um, uh, so that's why I've said, whatever mm -hmm. that you have decided to do, put all your commitment. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Put all your commitment. Even that's what the Bible says. Whatever that you have decided to do, put all your commitment. Mm -hmm. Those goals that you have decided. I've seen, I can, I've seen, sometimes me, I'm, I'm very keen, very observant, seeing what the people are doing. Mm -hmm. I've seen people, something, yeah. unapata walikuwa wanauza something, kidogo, kidogo, socks, unawana. Yeah. Again, walikuwa wanauza panty within the town. After a few days, unastukia kwamba they have a shop. Mm -hmm. But after one year, after two years, because of the commitment, you know. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to change your life, increase yeah. your commitment to what you are doing. Okay. If you are a student, increase your commitment, you increase your success. Mm -hmm. You are a principal, increase your commitment, change the performance of your school. Okay. If you are the CEO, increase your commitment and change the result okay. of your company, the profit. All right. Uh, yeah. And you've said commitment is it's also is it also the same as consistency? Consistency means whatever you are doing it, continue doing it. There are people who have who have mm. known what you call have not developed the spirit of consistency. Consistent means continue doing it. Today you are committed, tomorrow you are not committed. So you're not consistent. You are not consistent as such. Mm. And the consistent is the key to success. You continue doing it. You continue doing it. You mm -hmm. continue doing it. Focusing on it. You continue doing it. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Because there are people. I've seen even maybe I've gone to school. Sometimes I ask. They come up with structures. I've talked to companies. But they have come up with structures. Mm -hmm. They work on those structures within just a few days. Mm -hmm. After a month. They are not doing, they say, 
the same. Consistence on what you are doing, it mm -hmm. will give you an, uh, what we call a breakthrough. Okay. You become an expert on that area. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? That consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistency breaks a breakthrough. Consistency brings a breakthrough. Yes. Okay. Consistency will turn weakness mm -hmm. into strength. Yeah. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Consistency. Yeah. Do you see now? So once you are, you know, commit, uh, committed on what you are doing, mm -hmm. well, another thing that makes people not to achieve their, their goals is, uh, uh, I was saying this, is fear to fear. Fear, okay. Fear of failure. You see, what if I fail? With what, what if I start goals, like my brother was saying, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I don't because of corona. Corona will not come again in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Now set your goals in the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> By faith. <laughs> By faith. <laughs> you okay. know. Mm -hmm. it's, so there are some people who fear. Mm. It like now me, Nintesa, maybe I'm an author. Mm -hmm. What if I write a book on the people reviews to buy? Okay. Fear of the unknown. Yeah. Fear of the unknown. What? Mimi nimeona kuna watu wengine hapa wamekataa kuwa. Nasema nimeona ndoa zinafunjika funjika. So, that what if I mm. uh, do you know that fear? But I want to tell you, start something. Even if you fail, you will gain experience. You have learned something. You are better than that person who has not started anything. Mm -hmm. You are better. So it because the failure is a lesson. It's a lesson. lesson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So that's what I've said. Don't fear to fail. And I want to tell you, success is moving from one failure to another without losing hope. Mm, amazing. Repeat that. Success is moving mm -hmm. from one failure to another without losing hope. Wow. Profound. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you see? Mm -hmm. There are people, even this life, the, me, I started a small hotel. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> I started a small hotel. Uh -huh. So, um, for a short period, it was just one year. Mm -hmm. And we can discover, ah, this hotel is not really working very well. No profit. Then, what, what I did, I closed the, the, the business. But from there, I moved into taxi. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Because I learned a few things from what oh, I was so doing. Yeah. There was a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Do you see now? At least in everything that you do, you even it. if you fail, at least you will learn a lesson. Amazing. You started a relationship and it did not work, it's okay. <laughs> but have you learned a lesson? But what have you learned from that relationship? So take something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So at least you have learned that now next time mm -hmm. I'll be more careful. Next right. time, I'm now mature. Mm -hmm. Next time, I'm a better person. By the way, let me tell you, the challenge that people go through, they make you too mature. Come again? The, uh, the challenges that you go through, they, they make you too mature. Okay. They mature you. Are yeah. you listening? So, so they say, mm -hmm. they shape you. Do you see? Mm -hmm. That is why in every challenge you go through, learn a lesson very fast. Don't continue saying, oh, I try this, oh, I try this, oh, ni kacho kwa mata, oh, ni kafanya hivi, oh, ni yaza business. Apana, learn a lesson very fast. Pick the if you are quick to learn a positive lesson out of it, mm -hmm. you will be able to move. Wow. Maybe you started a company not to work, mm -hmm. learn a lesson. Maybe you are a student, you are a businessman, you want to pursue your career, and you do not do well, learn a lesson very fast. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Because... When I say my Evie, I say my Evie, if, if you want to, to be a better person, it will depend on the lesson you learned from the, bar, the past. Do you, are you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise you will keep on you will keep revolving on around the same mistakes. cycle. Mm -hmm. Nobody does not make a mistake in this world. Okay. Nobody. Human beings, we are not perfect. Mm -hmm. In one way, or another, in this life, you will, you will make a very silly mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you are bound to make a mistake. You are bound to make a human. mistake. Uh -huh. But the question is, have you learned out of it so that you can achieve your goal? That's why we are telling you people, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Learn a lesson and keep on. Uh, do you see? So some people, what is funny, some people, they make a mistake. You know, 
Anyway, and I'm using because we are the youths are listening to us. Yeah. And I say, actually, stay with one man, I'm very young. Stay with one man, I'm very. Because of one aspect. <laughs> because of one aspect. <laughs> yeah. That narration, they are good men outside. They are don't kill yourself. Don't lose hope. It's not what I mean. I just want to tell you, I don't know. So you pick your lesson. That narration, you know, we're young. If you was young, you know, we're young. We are girls. They are young. If you want short one, there are many. If you want a tall one, there are many. If you want a fat one, there are many. So don't kill yourself. Yeah, at least you you would have picked the red flags. You know better now. You move. You move on with life. You know, sometimes you see, but with this young girl. Maybe I'm a set call here. I'm going, oh, you need to know this here. Yeah, and then boom. I'm going to be a mungu. Asante mungu. Mungu. Pewezi. I'm going to be a mungu. Asante. Mungu. I'm going to be a mungu. After a few days, I'm going to be a message and I'm going to be a from today. Never call me. Never call me. Don't come. Mungu. I'm going to be a mungu. I'm going to be a mungu. Don't kill yourself. Another one will come. God bless you. Remain positive. Love yourself. Move on. Because you have goals to achieve. Mm -hmm. Imagine there are people who have killed themselves. Sad. Imagine there are people who have committed suicide because of failure. Mm -hmm. They never failed their goals. They remained hopeless. I said, oh, But we want to tell people, still, mm -hmm. there is another day. There's another day. There's yes. Light at the end of the yeah. In fact, we all say there is always a second chance. Even if you fail today, there is a second chance for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A new day is coming. Mm -hmm. So, atisaki hilo mtu anasema ya kwamba, unapata mtu paka mtu anachua. Anasema, haki yu kijana mbona amechua. Ati aliachu. Iyo tupeka yake, ati aliachu kwa mata. Akachua, mm -hmm. eh. Kwa ju tu kwa mata, eh. It becomes. Waka unasema, pana. This, this is very serious. Mm -hmm. Tunasema, you could have remained positive. Mm -hmm. You love yourself. Anasema, yes. Even if I fail, it's just a situation. It my potential look. and my dignity remains. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I will be successful. You pick, your, you you pick, pick up yourself, yourself and yes, move again. Yes, you pick yourself and move on. Okay. Yes. I can tell you, when I wanted to marry, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I had set yes. a goal. Uh -huh. Another girl. So that time I was a very poor man and I had nothing. And, you know. <laughs> yeah. So... Sikumoja, na halikuwa mekura nyama yangu, mekura kura, mekura, you know. <laughs> Sasa nandia message have... from today, it is over. Ooh. So, ni, kasema, it's okay. But in Gazema, see Angripa and my angry. Arudisha. Arudisha. I had this bed on her. But you know, uh -huh. look what God has done after many years. God has blessed us. Mm -hmm. You know, the way of doing well. Yeah. Sometimes we meet, I uh, driving, and I'm like, hello, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so look at me now. <laughs> yeah. You know, the way we are today, it's not the same we will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Today we may be struggle. Somebody may look at your life, you have nothing, you know, and I could charge and I say, oh, you look hopeless. Who knows about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. That's why somebody, you are not supposed to give up. Okay. Because tomorrow it might be a different story. Mm -hmm. God can open a door for you. You can get your job. You can get married. Are you get what I'm saying? You yeah. can be employed. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So never should you give up on something. Never should you kill yourself. Never should you commit suicide, uh, as we say. Do you see? Never should you, you know, give up and say from today, what an end in Do you see? But we want to tell the people, your story can change. Your story can change. I can your tell you. Is I'm, I'm it's talking as a pastor and I'm talking as a live example. Your story can change. Wow, amazing. Yes. So Don't impression. look at somebody the way he is today. Look at that person, what he will become tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, uh, speaking of that, what about pa people who want to change their habits? Because maybe it's their habits that are obstacles to them uh, <coughs> achieving their goals. You know, when uh, you are failed and you have discovered there are some habits that have uh, maybe contributed Mm -hmm. What you do, you know, habits, it's a practice. Mm -hmm. It's an act. Do you see? Yeah. What you do is to change. And a change is possible. Change mm -hmm. is possible. You can change. Do you know? Yeah. Like now, if uh, maybe you are a lady, you are uh, maybe a man, let me use a man or a young person, you, you always say yes to anybody without 
look at this person, the background, and the, you, do you see now? Mm -hmm. You can change that habit. When I say, from today, I must do a research before I say yes to somebody. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Maybe you are a person, once you've been given money, you spend on drinking. You, after one month, in fact, kuna watu wanapata salary, wanapata leo, within a week, mtu wanakuambia siyo nisaidia na mia. Wana mwaliza, the other day you earned, where is the money? What happened? You can check your spending, where does your money go? Do you see? What is affecting your process and your success? So, because I've said, change is possible. Change is possible. If you are drinking too much, change is possible. Change that it can possible. affect your goals. Do you see? If you are into drugs, I tell you, change is possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever seen people, maybe they were so bad, but after a few days, you meet that person and you wonder, some, hey, uh, what happened to my friend? reformed, the person has changed, the person is now better. So, to change your habit, you change the practice. You change the practice. Yes, because habit comes with practice, something that you, you do like every you. day, mm -hmm. and until it becomes part of you. Wow, wow. amazing. So, yes. to change your habits, you change your practice. And finally, mm. as we conclude on this conversation, maybe some highlights that you want the viewer to remember. They have already set their goals. How mm. do they achieve? Just a summary of everything that uh, you have said. Now, I want uh, uh, our people who are listening to us to know this. If you want to achieve your goals, number one, set, set something that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Number two, be committed mm -hmm. to that goal that you have set. Yeah. Number three, don't give up. Number, number uh, maybe number four or five, yeah, four. seek help. Mm -hmm. maybe, may, maybe you have been defeated on that goal that you have set, seek help. Because somebody can help you to succeed your goal, your goal. Don't lose hope in this life. Don't lose hope. Yeah. Your commitment it is equal to your success. Remember that. And even you are bad habit that is uh, uh, maybe affecting your process, your success, you can change. Okay. You see? And remember this. Discipline is the key to success. Amazing. Discipline is the key to success. Okay. Discipline is the road to success. Mm -hmm. Deep, discipline yourself as much as you can on finances, mm -hmm. on your association. Do you see? On how to date people, maybe you are, you are working. Discipline is the key. Discipline okay. of saving. Do you know? Discipline of pursuing your, your goals. So remember, discipline it's is key. the key to success. Amazing. Thank mm. you very much, uh, Jeffrey Ngwai. Where can people find you on social platform, on your social platforms if they want to get you? That's your camera. Oh, those who want to find me uh, have uh, the Facebook. Mm -hmm. Chofre Ongwai, M Talks and Mentorship. Also, Chofre Ongwai. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much again for giving us such amazing insights. We are glad to have you in the show. Thank you so much for inviting me. Okay. I'm happy. Maybe, however, maybe you have a company, you want somebody to talk to your people, you mm -hmm. have a school, you have an institution, uh, maybe you want to, you, mm -hmm. you can invite me. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, my number. Is, if you want to give, yeah, you can give your number. Yeah, my number is 0720-043-620. Mm. Okay. Mm. So that's it. Thank you very much, Geoffrey. That has been Geoffrey Ongwai. He's a motivational speaker. He's an author, a pastor, and so many titles that he holds talking to us about achieving goals. And one thing that I've taken from it is do not lose hope. And discipline is key to, uh, to get gaining success. And just write your goals down. It is also very important. That is it from career, but more is to come. Brian Sakwa is coming on board with politics. And of course, we have MCM. So keep it Talk to us at Y254 channel.